you will be giving injections into very small mammals in this class. And you will also, as you progress through the veterinary technician program, draw blood and give injections to many different species. So I want you to start practicing holding the syringe in what we call an overhand grip. So that is holding the syringe between your fingers and your thumb and learning to aspirate with just one digit. Now I don't care which digit you aspirate with or which digit you push back with. I just want you to practice doing this. You will be given a syringe to take home after our first lab so you can practice. Your goal is that you can aspirate and inject without moving the tip of that syringe. And you should practice with a 1cc syringe as well as a 3cc syringe. Why does this matter? Why can't you hold the syringe like this or like this? Well, the reason why is this is the most versatile hold. I'll back up a little bit so you can see a little better. Because by holding the syringe in this way, you can flip your hand around and still have complete control. Why does it matter that you don't move the tip? Well, I'll show you. So you will be giving injections. This is a model, but you'll be giving injections to an animal that's even smaller than this mouse model. One injection that you'll be giving is the sub-Q. And the sub-Q injection you have to give right here between the ears in the subcutaneous space where you're scruffed this little tiny spot, okay? If you miss, which you won't, but if you did, I mean, you could potentially harm this animal, miss the area completely, or even go in too deep. So, plus, every time you place a needle in an animal and that needle moves, you're causing trauma and tissue damage to that animal. You're lacerating the tissue, right? Needles are sharp. So you want to be able to place this injection in the appropriate place, inject without moving that needle. So that's your ultimate goal, okay? The other reason you want is you're going to be doing other injections. So you might be doing an IP, so you have to come from different angles. This handhold will make that easier for you to do that. So as stated, Hold with the overhand grip, learn to aspirate and inject without moving the tip as best you can, and really practice. I think the biggest thing people run into is the aspirating. Now keep in mind, I'm aspirating, I'm exaggerating the aspiration here so you can see what I'm doing. When you're really aspirating, let's put something in here, let's say I'm giving a 0.1 cc's. When I really aspirate, I only have to move it an inch, an inch, not even an inch, right? I mean, like just a tiny little bit. That's all I have to do. The reason we aspirate is to ensure placement. So when you do give an injection to an animal, keep in mind, you don't have to aspirate like this. All you have to do is a little tiny bit. Okay, but I want you to practice that hold and I want you to practice aspirating and injecting in whatever fashion works without moving the tip.